Hey guys, welcome back to JD Mods. Today I'm going to be showing you my most recent car purchase. And oddly enough, I wasn't even looking to purchase a car. I was actually looking to purchase an engine. But this deal came up and it was too good to pass up on. So let's get started. So despite the Lexus badge, this is actually a, well, you can probably tell looking at it, it's right-hand drive, a 1993 Toyota Aristo with the 2JZ -E GTE, sorry. Um, as you can see, it has a front mount intercooler and it has a couple other things we'll show you in a minute here. But as you can also probably tell, it is pretty gross looking. It was sitting, well, the owner said one year, but it's definitely been sitting for like three years at least. It's got some nice algae all over it. Um, the couplers for the inner cooler were actually red <laughs> at one point, um, but they're now white. So this is what made the whole purchase worthwhile. It was well, it's covered in plastic bags. I was gonna say this beautiful two Jay Z, but it's covered in bags right now because we're about to wash it. Um, so it was sitting for three years, so we were hoping it would start. Um, we brought the battery from Kyle's GS with us, and it fired up first try, so I bought it. Um, and we got the entire car for three grand, which Canadian, Canadian, which around here, just the motor is going for around $5,000. So this was a steal and a half. Um, unfortunately, I was looking to put a 2J in my G35, but now that I have this car, probably just going to keep it <laughs> and keep this car and leave my G35 alone. Um, if you're looking at the 2JZ, we'll show you guys more in detail later, but it has a genuine JDM HKS blow off valve, which we will show off later this video this custom rad custom rad front mount intercooler it has a electronic Gretty boost controller with controller inside speaking of inside let's quickly show the interior it's a little bit torn apart because he was going to do bigger speakers in it which has these custom brackets for six and a half inch speakers this really crappy looking race wheel um what else you can see the Gretty boost controller in this cloth corner. seats oh it has the TRD 320 kilometer an hour tack that you'll never be able to see. Oh, there it is right there. 320 kilometer an hour tack. It has a uh, Mines ECU. It also came with, um, this is just the stock three piece spoiler, but it also came with a CAS three piece spoiler, which I've been putting on it, which is really, really nice. I'm excited about that. So I don't know if you can tell from that angle, but the back end does have a little bit of damage, unfortunately. Um, nothing that can't be fixed. We're just going to have to bang it out a bit because this whole thing's kind of on an angle. It also has a really terrible sticker that's going to come off. So I'm really bad body work. Um, yeah. Also, again, custom exhaust. Yes, yeah, custom exhaust. What else? Did I miss anything? Um, it's on the stock rims right now. Uh, I think Ali covered pretty much everything I remember from the ad. Oh, it also um, has a Titan Motorsports stall or a uh, higher stall torque converter, but I think that's pretty much all the aftermarket parts on the car. So what are we doing right now? Clean it. Let's clean it. So Kyle's just flushing out the coolant system at the moment because we went to take the coolant out and it was really disgusting, kind of muddy looking. We don't even know what color it was and supposed it wasn't to be. even like red Toyota coolant. It was like a generic Pre yellow and green stuff. Crap. So we're just giving it a rinse out here with just hose water, but it's okay. And uh, then we're gonna refill it with good Toyota stuff because for a 2JZ, only the best. And also, uh, the first thing we did before even washing it was we gave it a brand new oil change with a uh, full synthetic 10W30 with new filter. So now whenever we run it, we know that we're not gonna damage the motor. So as you can see, just washing the car went quite a long ways. We used scotch Brite and just polished up some stuff in the engine bay. Got all the algae off of it. It looks a lot better. The matte black paint still looks like crap and the orange stripes still looks like crap, but we can't really do anything about that right now. And we're about to take it for its very first test drive down the road, which should be exciting. We've also put um, some of the interior back together. So I put the steering wheel back on. We're trying to figure out why some of the lights on the gauge cluster aren't working, which we still have not figured out yet, but in due time. Okay, go ahead. Let me do a walk around.
burping the coolant to make sure there's no more overheating issues. All right, I'll close the hood. Okay, bring it over. G give me a rev. What? Give me a rev. One more? All right, let me do the engine bay. Gotta hear that HKS SSQV. Make sure we're not leaking coolant too. Do it. Oh, one second, we're leaking coolant. So we did take it for a test drive earlier when it was light out. Uh, but it wasn't a very long test drive because the gauge isn't working properly so we can't see if it's overheating and we suspect it did overheat a little bit um once we got back and we didn't thrash on it very much because obviously we just wanted to make sure it was running great but considering it's been sitting for three years it runs pretty darn well um and in the next video i guess we'll probably just go over what the plans are for it um and bringing it back to life kind of because it's a little bit dilapidated um but if there's anything specifically you want to see just comment comment it below um, other than that, I guess that's it for today, and as always, please like, comment, and subscribe.